with extraordinary fuel efficiency, fewer and cleaner emissions, impressive power to weight ratios and full range torque. This simple engine design will revolutionize energy and transportation. Let's compare the CV design to the standard crankshaft. One advantage of the CV engine is the number of power strokes per shaft rotation. Firing each cylinder twice as often allows us to cut engine RPM in half, thereby reducing wear on internal components, prolonging lubricant life, and requiring fewer transmission speeds. Here is the familiar crankshaft, or CS design. Note how there is one brief moment where the lever arm is at its maximum. This is the instant of its highest potential leverage, or torque, and is indicated by the yellow highlights here and here. The red highlights, shown at top and bottom, designate piston top dead center, TDC, and bottom dead center, BDC, and this green arrow represents the position of center shaft rotation. Now, imagine if you are able to increase the same leverage by 40%, and then extend the amount of time that the full torque is available from just a minuscule moment to 85% of the stroke. This is what the CV design achieves for the internal combustion engine. Here is the torque curve for the CV design. Shortly after ignition occurs and combustion pressure is at its highest, the CV reaches its maximum leverage, transferring the piston linear motion to rotary motion with over five times the power output of the CS. This is also beneficial for the use of rapid burning fuels such as natural gas, ethanol, or hydrogen. With this advantage, less fuel is required to produce more power. Combining this fuel reduction with a more complete burn and shorter ignition duration ensures CO2 and NOx emissions will be significantly reduced. Let's compare the piston side load of a standard crankshaft engine. The CV design inherently has no piston to cylinder wall contact. This eliminates piston wear, cylinder wall scoring, internal contamination and related premature component failure, while also providing increased thermal efficiency through the reduction of friction related heat. Now, let's look at combustion pressure data taken from a running diesel engine. As the ignition of fuel occurs and pressure is at its highest, the CV engine will be able to transfer that energy into rotational torque just after piston TDC. The crankshaft design reaches full torque nearly halfway through the stroke, but pressure is considerably diminished. This advantage allows the CV engine to capture higher combustion pressures, and because of this, we estimate over 50% fuel savings. Here we have the CJ2 prototype. With its hollow power shaft, we can utilize a common shaft down the center to couple the engine with the transmission in a modular format. Using an electric direct drive motor, we can begin to turn the common shaft. At this point, the electric clutch engages and begins turning the center hub, which is directly connected to the engine's power shaft. This configuration allows for multiple engine couplings, such as a two-cylinder and a four-cylinder, to operate in tandem as power demand fluctuates. Energizing the clutches to combine power units as needed provides another layer of efficiency by matching load requirements. In this scenario, the four-cylinder CJ2 is required to begin moving the vehicle. The direct drive electric motor is energized and the clutch engaged, and as soon as the engine starts, the electric motor can now begin to act as a generator, providing power for ignition and accessories. Shifting the transmission from neutral to drive, the CJ2 gets things moving. As power demand increases, the two-cylinder CJ1 clutch energizes and provides additional capacity. When the power demand decreases, such as with city driving, the CJ2 clutch can then be de-energized and that engine shut down, offering an even more efficient mode of operation.